This morning, I opened my door for a nice surprise package. I got the Xbox One S All Digital Edition. This is the latest console in the Xbox family and the first one from the big three to go completely digital. So let's unwrap this thing and see what Microsoft includes in this package. But first, I love doing that. And there it is. So on the box, they highlight disc free gaming, almost as if it's, you know, a new fad, but I've been doing this on my PC for years. But I mean, like forget PC. Even if you look at Xbox, I've been doing this since 360 days. And you can see they threw that disc free logo, disc free term pretty much everywhere on the box. So it's a standard 4K gaming, one terabyte hard drive, really no upgrade from the regular Xbox One S. I think the least they could have done is maybe bumped up that hard drive to two terabytes. One nice thing, they bundled it with three games. More on those later. Let's break the seal on this puppy. That disc free sticker, it's new. Again, reminding you, hey, it's disc free, how convenient. So as you open this up, the first thing, as with all Xboxes, we have the quick start guide. And yes, these are instructions for the all digital edition. So if you think you know the Xbox One S, you don't know nothing, boy, about the all digital edition. So make sure you read this. Next up is the accessories box. Nothing new. So in this box, we have a couple of things. First, we have the standard HDMI cable. Yes, this thing has cables until Microsoft releases an Xbox for cable-free gaming. <clears throat> Anyways, okay, next up is the controller. The same white one I got with my three-year-old Xbox One S. And yup, they included two AA batteries. The same batteries I got with my three-year-old Xbox. And here's a standard AC adapter. Nothing more I can say about that. So the second last item in here, this little box off to the side, it has all the game digital codes. It has all the manuals. So let's have a look. So right out of the gate, we got Forza Horizon 3. And if you're a Sony fanboy, the number one reason you want to get Xbox is for racing games. I mean, let's be real. Gran Turismo used to be the king, you know, back 10 years ago. Now the best racing series out there is clearly Forza. So if this is your first Xbox, it's a good thing they included Forza. Well, hold on, hold on. One thing I do have a problem with is Microsoft, why the heck? did you just not include Forza Horizon 4? I mean, come on, Horizon 3 is a great game, but you should have just included the latest and greatest of Forza, which is Forza Horizon 4. The second free game is Sea of Thieves. This is a relatively new action adventure game. It's only about a year old. It's got great ratings, a good multiplayer, and it's an Xbox and Windows exclusive. So I definitely like that they included this and I think everyone's gonna have a blast playing this game. The last game in the bundle needs no introduction. It's Minecraft. Would you believe me if I said I've actually never ever played Minecraft? Well, now that I got it, I'm gonna give it a shot. And from what I hear, this game is a classic. So it never hurts to have something like this in your library. So here's a 14 day Xbox Live trial code. Let me know in the comments below if you're the person that actually jumped on it and used the code. And on the back of this is the Xbox Game Pass. There should be a code. Oh, I guess the disc drive isn't the only thing this thing is missing. There's no bloody Game Pass trial. And the last thing here is a product and warranty guide. Okay, the last thing in here is the actual console. So yeah, it's it's basically an Xbox One S with no disk drive. Now, I can't really think of a benefit, but one negative of no disk drive is 
physical games are obsolete for this console, which means you pay full price for a digital game, and once you beat it, you can't sell it like a physical game. Anyways, the front has a USB, no disk drive, controller sync button, and the power button. The back has a power port, HDMI out, HDMI in, two USB ports, infrared out, optical audio, and an ethernet port. Now, this is not a portable console, so I don't think it matters, but anyways, the all digital edition is a little bit lighter. It weighs 5.4 pounds, that's roughly two and a half kilograms, and that's almost three pounds lighter than the standard Xbox One S. So what the bloody heck did I just open? Is there a benefit to taking out the disk drive? No. Huh. I should have just gotten white electrical tape for $1 and covered the drive on my three-year-old Xbox. <clears throat> okay, in all seriousness, so why in the world did Microsoft release this console? And the number one explanation I have is cost. They wanna take out the disk drive, reduce the cost. The all digital edition has a MSRP of 249 US, while the regular Xbox One S1 terabyte has a MSRP of 299. So that's only about a $50 difference. Now, never pay retail, especially for a friggin' in Xbox. I've seen the Xbox One S one terabyte on sale for as low as $180. And I'm sure this all digital edition will be somewhere in the neighborhood of $150 come holiday season. That's all I have for today. Thanks for putting up with me for a good eight minutes. Subscribe, like, comment, share, you know the drill. I just have one question. How many times did I say Xbox in this video? Leave your comments below.